Stats 23 here. Today's Night Therapy, we have two awesome new products coming from one of my favorite smaller brands, and that is Big Idea Designs. Let's get into these. We're going to get started with this one first. The first product we have is their new Bit Bar 2. I have the original Bit Bar. Um, it's a titanium driver storage. As you can see, you have these uh, bits right here. There you go. That's spring loaded. And there's a magnet in there that hold those in there. Comes with a titanium pocket clip and a lanyard hole. Nice and sturdy. Plus you have a uh, bit driver holder right there that has a magnet in there that you just pop one of these out, put it in there, and you can do your twisting. So this was nice. They made some changes and they added some stuff that I thought was very interesting that would, you know, make me like this tool even more. There's a few things on here that I kind of don't like, but I think they fixed it with the bit bar too. So let's get into it and check it out. We use the Kaiser original and copper to get into the box. They got it uh, taped off and they got it sealed. All righty. So this is what's in the box. Here's some uh, pause and read. There's, if you need some help, how to videos. And there they go. They got some really love their pens. I love all their, their titanium tools. If you like titanium stuff, you definitely need, if you don't know about the big idea design, definitely need to check them out. They got some of the coolest stuff. Now, is, is there stuff cheaper than this that do the same thing? Yes, but I like this kind of stuff. And they always come with these awesome leather sheaths. You can put that in there, put a pin in there, uh, or it looks like a uh, driver. That's cool. See, in a driver extension, this wasn't, <laughs> they didn't uh, have these in the original bit bar. So that's really cool. And that's got a magnet in there. So you could use it on the old one too, I'm sure. Yep, very cool. So let's check out what's different between these two. All right, so here's the initial look of this. Um, I can already tell they made the lanyard uh, loop smaller. So you have a smaller lanyard loop right there. Uh, they went with the deep carry and put the, the screw up there so it's a lot cleaner look. Looks like it's a little bit wider. I can't tell for certain, but it looks like it's, yeah, it looks like it's wider. Uh, that same dark blasted uh, stonewash finish or tumbled finish. Let's see if they have the same amount of bits. I don't, yeah, let's see if it's the same length, let's see. Yeah, it's the same exact length it looks like. <clears throat> looks like they must have put, yeah, this, okay, now this is the big difference, this right here. So before, you had to just push this up and, and hold that up, you grab whatever bit you wanted, you grab the bit, and uh, then you just put them back in when you're done, and then let it go. So it looks like the newer one has, instead of, Pushing it up at the bottom right here. Looks like you just push that. Yeah, that's spring loaded. You just push that up. Grab what you need. Let's see. Grab what you need. Drop that down. They got a magnet back there that holds them in. Let's see. Does it hold them whenever it's... Yeah. So they're, they're held in by magnet. Then you can just drop it back in there. You don't have to push it back out to get it in there. Now, another thing that they, they added to them, besides the pocket clip and this... You had only the only spot you had to put your bit is right there. Well, on the, the newer version on the bit bar two, you had that same one right there, and they put one right there. So if you want to do some, let's see, <laughs> you put it like this to get you know some different angle to it, or you could also let's see, am I doing it right? Go from the top right there. It holds that uh that in there. Nice magnetized, and then this is magnetized. Just a bit extension, so if you need to get a little bit more reach into whatever you're screwing down. Very, very cool. Um, they're, all their products are super high quality, and uh, I could definitely recommend pretty much anything they make. I, I have yet to get something that I didn't like from them. I have several of their pens, 
I got this, I got their everyday screwdriver, which I love. And I'll do a, I'm gonna do a full video on all, all of my big idea designs in the next video. Like once I wanna kind of talk about this, cause I'm gonna use this and see how I like this and this and the little changes, how I like this right here. So I'll tell you what, that's fidgety there. That makes it easier to push because this one, if you don't push right there in the middle, it, it, it's kind of hard because you see how you got that push out. You got to have, you got to be pushing right there in the middle. So they both hold the, the bits in there good, but I do like this. Uh, we'll see how I like it. You know, the more I carry it. I like how they put the deep carry clip. Yeah, I like that a lot. They put a little slot right there to give you extra tension. Yeah, very, very cool. Oh yeah, let's check it out in the slip. Now, I don't know if, if this works with the clip or not. Let's see, maybe if I clip it to it. Let's try it like this. Yeah, so you can clip it to it like that if you want. You could also take that clip off if you did not want it on there. And you could store your uh, magnetized bit. Now, all these things, you know, the leather is a nice snug fit, so it's not going to fall out. Uh, and they are tight in the beginning, but I'd you want it to be tight so whenever it stretches over time and you have a nice little belt loop or you can put that on the lanyard and clip it to a bag or your uh, belt loop, whatever you want. So very, very cool. Now this next one I'm super, super excited about. This is a brand new product and this is not something that is common for a big idea design, but if it's as, as, as quality as the rest of their products, I know I'm gonna be excited about it. So let's get into this box real quick. All right, so here is the box, a nice box, a crush proof style box, Take the lid off, wow. Beautiful presentation. You have a nice wood wooden presentation box. Very, very nice here. Let's take a look at this. A nice wooden presentation. Very, very cool. What is that? Is that a stand? Sure is. I guess if you wanna put it in there like that, that's cool. Leave it up to them. They, they, they're very innovative guys there. Big idea design. Let's see, how does this open? So, yeah, okay, it slides. Hello. So, you slide it. So, this is their first watch. And <clears throat> I just recently kind of started getting into watches, something that Nick Shabazz told us to stay away from. But, for me... It's hard for me to wear watches because ever since my accident, I have these thick scars right here and heavy watches really, you know, hurt me right here. When it's a stainless watch with a stainless band. So I, I picked up this, this uh, Bertucci titanium face. It's kind of a knockoff of uh, Hamilton and it's a decent watch and it wasn't expensive or anything, but it, it kind of got me excited about it. And whenever I found out that one of my favorite companies came out with a titanium faced watch, I got super excited. So let's, let's take it off. Let's check it out. And I already, there's already something about this one that I love way more than the one that's on my wrist. So the one on my wrist was, it was a good bit cheaper, but you know, <laughs> there's reasons for that. Now, <laughs> This is a premium product, you know? I mean, it's not expensive if you're a watch guy, you know? Because watches get up there, you know? if you Most of your, your premium watches usually start at 500 and up, and most of your, you know, really nice watches are thousands of dollars. So, let's get a look at this if I can without my, it's kind of hard not because of the glare. I should have set it up a little bit better just got some uh, dust on it. So the face, initial initial thoughts, the face looks really nice. Another thing that this, okay, one thing that I, I noticed right off the back that I like about this one is the uh, nylon band that, that it came with 
is very uh, nice and soft. This one right here, it's a thicker band and it's very, very stiff, which is not the most comfortable for my wrist. Um, this one is very pliable and this one is not a NATO strap, but even though it has like the little double uh, things right here, it kind of looks like a NATO strap. But if this one were to get cut right here, that thing's falling off. This one comes with a NATO strap. Now you can get it with a NATO uh, nylon strap like this. This is the green nylon with the, uh, I think this is the stonewashed titanium bezel. Um, very, very lightweight, lighter than this one. Yeah, this one has a lot of nice feet. The, the, the number markers are raised, unlike this one that are just flat painted on there. This one has an actual date there, not on the Bertucci. And I went with the automatic. And I can't really see the feet, how many feet. I'll, I'll, I'll do a full video after I've carried this for a while. Yeah, this, this one's already gonna be more comfortable. That's another thing, being that this is a NATO strap right here, this strap is going to cover up these, uh, the prongs right there. Those prongs. Let's see, are they pinned in? So it's going to cover that up right there, um, which on this one, let me take this one off and show you. Being that it's not a NATO strap and just goes straight through here, these prongs rub on my wrist all day long. And I can't stand that. It hurts my wrist. This one... In a NATO strap, it's covering that. Love it. Now, I could have bought a NATO strap for this one. That was softer and everything. And I, I still enjoy this watch. This is going to be my beater. Uh, I wear this one all the time anyway for whatever. But this one is going to take the place of this one for me. Uh, now, I also went ahead and got... Let me put the, my other watch back on. I also wanted to be able to show y'all the different band options. This is the one that came with the <clears throat> the nylon band, but I wanted to show y'all the leather options because I will probably put the leather band on this for most of the time and leave this one with the, the nylon. I don't know, but let's see the other. The they it came with a black, a black and a green leather you could buy separately. I think you could buy one with the leather band already on it. So let's get these out real quick. And I love that they're they have that NATO stop the NATO strap safety strap like that. Awesome. This is the, le the leather feels good. I think it's got a good enough thickness. It's not too thick to where it's 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 not going to be pliable once it starts. It's it's nice and soft leather. I like that. And the uh, which call it to have little covers over them right now, so I gotta remove that so so it doesn't get scratched. But it has like a nice matte finish, and it looks like uh, the hardware on this is titanium because it does say tie right here. Hopefully you can see that. I think this would look beautiful with the black leather, so I'll probably swap this to the, to the black leather. And actually, I'm putting it on right now because this one is starting to bother me. Very, very nice uh, brown leather and uh, the, the tie buckle. And it still has the little um, protectors on that. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. This is Harween leather, so they're using good quality leather. Man, this, this feels so good. Is this one Harween too? Yep, Harween leather. So I will pro I'm not sure which one do y'all think would look better with the black face. I think the brown looks looks good and it's gonna it's gonna age nicely, I'm sure. That black face is so hard to catch it because of that shiny bezel. Such a lightweight knife. Or the green. I mean, I'll probably sw swap them out. I'll probably carry it with all of them, see which one I like the best. And like I said, I'm so excited that uh, this one ha comes with a comfortable band already. 
So there it is on the wrist. It's a darker green. It's like a uh, military green on this one. And that Bertucci is more like a light green. You can see it's more like a light green. But you can see the thickness difference. This one's thicker. But, I mean, so, so, so uh, rough feeling. Yeah, very, very nice. Very, very nice. Love it. So there you go. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. If you have any questions about any of this, please let me know down in the comments. If you've not ever checked out uh, Big Idea Design, do yourself a favor, especially if you like ti awesome titanium, uh, titanium things. And I promise you won't be disappointed. High quality products. Like this beautiful new watch. Whew. That's a nice one. All right, guys and girls. I hope everybody's having an awesome day. I will see y'all on the next one.